quick, you only have 10 seconds to leave a like and subscribe if you guys want to be gifted the Season X Battle Pass completely maxed out 2 tier 100 for completely free on your personal Fortnite account. Yo what's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video. So with us standing only in the 4th day of Season X's full duration, many players would have thought hey, everything would be fixed and up running smoothly now, but this is simply not the case. Remember when Epic Games slipped up prior to the launch of Season X with the Fortnite mobile servers and rewarded everybody who played Fortnite mobile with 1000 V-Bucks? Well something similar to that is happening again but on a much larger scale. Tons of things are going on, ultimately forcing Epic Games to recompensate players with new free items despite not even earning the Battle Pass making these all 100% free. So make sure you're sticking around and watching the full video today to see what items you're entitled to rewarded off Epic Games either now when you log on again in Fortnite, literally just after watching this video, or in the near future upcoming in the next update. Also make sure you guys don't miss out considering the Battle Pass is now giftable for the launch of Season X and I'm going to be gifting a ton of subscribers this every day. For a chance to receive this off me for completely free, simply make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment your Epic Game ID down below to potentially wake up one day and receive this Battle Pass all for completely free off me. We've also just recently surpassed half a million subscribers and are rapidly approaching 550,000 so make sure everybody watching the video right now if you're not subscribed, hit the big red button and let's smash this next milestone. Also a huge shout out to everybody using code friendly machine in the item shop whether it's to buy the battle pass or actual skins from the item shop rotation and also if you're rocking this code let me know in the comment section down below and include your epic games id that way i can hook some of you guys up with 1000 v bucks to show my appreciation so the very first pressing issue that many of you may be wondering about yet isn't touched upon by other youtubers is where you guys can potentially be rewarded off epic games in the following days with a free season x battle pass or amount of v bucks in order to purchase the battle pass itself this particular case in mention is largely just revolved around the breakpoint bundle where we got the breakpoint skin back bling and set of challenges to earn up to 1000 v bucks a very good deal literally for the cost of 1000 v bucks traditionally with this being a challenge pack many players will have thought hey this is a really good deal we can get a skin for the price of 1000 v bucks and even earn 1000 V-Bucks for completing a certain amount of daily challenges. The problem with this however is daily challenges have been removed from Fortnite as a whole now in Season X and have been replaced with missions that can only be accessed or completed upon purchasing the Battle Pass itself. The reason this is a problem is because well in Season 9 you didn't need the Battle Pass in order to complete daily challenges but you do need the Battle Pass now in order to earn these V-Bucks in the Breakpoint Challenge set as missions can only be completed for those who earn the Season X Battle Pass. Here is an example over on Twitter of somebody being kind of infuriated for the fact well they obviously weren't rushing considering they'd bought the bundle ultimately thinking they have enough time or any amount of time to earn what they're entitled to but now can't and obviously can't purchase the battle pass itself off these V-Bucks considering they need it to complete these challenges to earn the V-Bucks in the first place. Epic Games haven't really realised this mistake yet obviously because of the fact well they're just trying to get the servers smoothly running worldwide so everybody can actually hop on Fortnite being their ultimate priority but in the upcoming days definitely expect them to address this across their social media ultimately refunding people either with 1000 V-Bucks literally the amount that we can earn in the Breakpoint Challenge set for players who own the Breakpoint Challenge set itself or a free Season X Battle Pass to then earn the rest of these V-Bucks if they already haven't. Moving on to two emotes that literally have been revamped or recompensated to players who owned them when they were traditionally out in the game. We're talking about here not only the Pony Up emote granted to all players who owned the Ride the Pony emote from the Season 2 Battle Pass in the free section earned at tier 20, but also the Floss emote in the paid section at tier 49. In case you guys don't know about the Ride the Pony emote or how you can obtain this right now or the OG version Pony Up that's been recompensated to these players who won't Ride the Pony in Season 2, well basically for the launch of Season Next, if you now buy in the near future in the far future fortnite save the world's founders pack everybody gets granted the ride the pony emote from the season 2 battle pass obviously that's very og because this was the first ever fortnite battle pass many players were in uproar hearing about this traditionally however upon the launch of this going live literally compensated to players who own save the world the ogs who already own this emote in the season 2 battle pass got recompensated with this now pony up emote the difference between getting the ride the pony emote by buying save the world or owning it obviously causing us to actually buy something and the pony up emote is the fact well the ride the pony emote was traditionally free in the season 2 battle pass as previously mentioned at tier 20 and if you already own this from this season 2 battle pass literally get into tier 20 whether you 
had the battle pass bought or not, you get for completely free the pony up emote. So the OGs right here are definitely better off than the people who just generally want the ride the pony emote on their personal Fortnite account. Moving on now to something more interesting or more trending in most recent times is the floss emote and obviously this dance has taken the internet by storm as a kind of trended craze. Many people obviously want this emote and it's only accessible for players who bought the Season 2 Battle Pass as previously mentioned and made it all the way to tier 49 which was quite high in the Battle Pass considering there were only 70 tiers in this first ever Battle Pass. It seems Fortnite are going to be rewarding loads of players literally for having a certain thing or meeting a certain requirement with this floss emote but at the same time giving back to the OGs who already had this from getting to tier 49 in the season 2 battle pass the windmill floss and here's some gameplay of what this will look like. As previously mentioned, just like the Ride the Pony emote, literally what was obtainable originally in Season 2, being rewarded to Founders Pack owners, I definitely think this will be the case for the original Season 2 Battle Pass Floss emote, but if you already owned it, don't worry, as previously mentioned also or stressed, you will be recompensated with the Windmill Floss. The reason also I believe they're recompensating people or trying to drive more sales for Save the World, having already a sale on now for 50% off is because of the fact, well, they promised literally to launch at the end of 2018, almost a year ago, Fortnite Save the World for completely free, accessible by all players just like Battle Royale. Considering this requirement hasn't been met yet and ultimately Epic Games are feeling pressured to maybe distract us or ultimately tie us over until this launch, they're now giving also not only this Ride the Pony emote and potentially the Floss emote for all Founders Pack owners or any owner of Save the World but they're also dishing out all of these 7 harvesting tools for completely free on your personal Fortnite account in the very next update. Epic Games are obviously just now wanting to make their final chunk of money off Save the World before it launches free to to play publicly worldwide and what better way to do this than giving incentives to buy save the world not only making it 50% off a really good deal considering we can earn free unlimited v bucks but also now these cosmetic incentives to use in battle royale i honestly recommend largely buying save the world when it's 50% off if you don't already own it because these are not the only cosmetics granted to you are going to be granted if you own save the world you also get for completely free with obviously buying save the world and having access to it the war paint and rose team leader skin with two allocated backlinks for each character and also a harvesting tool and glider to go with these. The only downfall of buying save the world right now is that players won't be recompensated who already bought it when it launches free to play. Epic Games have disclaimed previously that it's in paid early access and obviously paid early access means you're paying to play this part of Fortnite now and obviously you having access to it early means that you won't be recompensated because you're paying literally for this early access. Think of this also like the breakpoint bundle that we mentioned at the start of the video. Yes, you have to buy something originally but ultimately the rewards that you can reap from buying it are way more worth the money than just buying one skin from the item shop. I mean, if you bought Save the World 50% off, literally, you'd instantly get your money's worth just through the cosmetics I've mentioned that you'll be rewarded for just buying the Founders Pack. That goes without saying the free V-Bucks you can earn each and every day, literally up to 1,000 for just logging in. Also, speaking of Save the World and going forth into the future with this Time Twist theme in Season X, do you guys think, considering they're bringing back all these OG old emotes because we're going back in time and revisiting all seasons, that they'll continue to do this and recompensate players who add the OG versions, for example take the L with their brand new revamped, obviously free, and maybe better variant. This honestly wouldn't surprise me considering we've not only seen the Pony Up emote recompensated to players who owned the Ride the Pony emote from the Season 2 Battle Pass, but also the upcoming Windmill Floss, which is like the third variant of the Floss emote considering we had the first Floss emote from the Season 2 Battle Pass, the paid version obtainable at tier 49, then we had the one-armed Floss literally performed by the robot in the final showdown event that came to the item shop, but now the Windmill Floss seems to be almost this kind of spin-off of the original floss and going to be recompensated just like the format they went about for this pony up emote as previously mentioned rewarded to players who already
already own the Ride the Pony emote from the Season 2 Battle Pass. Either way, let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything mentioned in this video in the comment section down below. Also let me know what particular rewards you are entitled to that I mentioned how to obtain throughout this video, as I'm really curious to know which reward is going to be dished out from Epic Games the most. If you also enjoyed this video or want to keep referring back to it at any point to soak in any additional information, then make sure you're leaving a like on the video down below as this not only supports me and gets the video out there to a wider audience of people who potentially are owed some of the rewards mentioned in this video, but the liked playlist is very easy to re-access upon liking the video and saving it to there that you guys won't forget to look in. Also make sure you're subscribing to the channel down below with the post notification bell turned on so you never miss any more future Season X videos, updating you guys on the new upcoming things that other YouTube was failed to perhaps touch upon. Hopefully I can recognise you guys from staying active in the future videos to come in the comment section down below and I'm out. Have an amazing rest of your day or night wherever you are whenever you are watching. Have a good one, take it easy and as always, peace.